おはよう俺のビデオへようこそ Don't know if that was right. And it's not even morning, so whatever. I just said what came up to my mind because I'm a simple man and I like doing simple videos, which is why we're doing Ascension with COD Ghost Weapons. Also, it's important that I practice my Japanese because、uh, I didn't speak Japanese for a month. And、uh, when you don't do something for a month that you've been doing for a long time, it gets scary. Whatever. Jesus! But in life, man, you just gotta go for it. You gotta get in that shit and you gotta go for it. Now, I haven't dag dumb come to Ascension in a long time, so I think it's about time I come back to Ascension. Um. Ascension's one of my favorite maps from OG B01, though. Like, I don't know, man. It, Ascension feels good. I love Ascension. It's such a good map, but. People like cry and complain about survival maps that don't have like a lot of Easter eggs and shit to them, but I'll tell you what, an Easter egg here and there is alright, but there's something about just simple maps. Like, I'm unlike any other YouTuber that's on this platform. Like, I, I mean, most zombies YouTubers think that you can't make Easter eggs complicated enough, and I think Easter eggs can most definitely be made too complicated, because I'm dumb. My game looks great. Uh, it doesn't take a genius to know that. I don't know what kind of filter I have on. I can't tell you the settings、uh, because this is bespoke to me.、Um, if you're jealous, I'm sorry.、Uh, you just have to play around with your NVIDIA game filter.、Um, my game looks amazing. And you wait till I get some saturation when this power gets turned on. Look at that. We got zombies that drop.、Uh, yeah, the, the zombies. They're like special zombies. I don't know how to explain it. The, the weapons mod, they have special zombies. I don't, I don't really like that. Not a big fan of that. Really not. But I do like max ammunitions. Because、um, we're. How did I make the crawler slow down by shooting them? As much as I love World at War and BO1, like, this game feels so much better. Let's be honest, it feels way better. We're gonna go ahead and turn on power. And we're gonna get our first COD Ghost weapon. Oh. Look at the saturation, gentlemen! Maybe I'll blow up the rocket, maybe I won't, I don't know. And the first Call of Duty ghost weapon is, in fact, the Annihilator, baby. Jesus Christ! Actually, we did get our first COD Ghost weapon, and it is nothing other than the Honey Badger, the OG most popular weapon from COD Ghost. You know it, I know it. Let's go. See, I pride myself on being able to make videos where you can just play in the background and clean your house. And occasionally you can look at the TV and see that I'm on around 850 because I'm a god. The Honey Badger feels right.、Uh, this just feels right. You know, it feels great. It has a lot of ammo. I don't know if that's a thing with these weapons mods or not, but 300 rounds it seems like a lot. I guess what we have to do is just go and hit the box again. What else are we gonna do? <laughs> Very basic map. I don't even think this map has an Easter egg on it. Two try. I was gonna do Origins, but I didn't really feel like playing that long. And we get. a v e p e r Amazing. From Ukraine, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we just got a pack a punch. Oh my god, the wanker. Ascension would be. um... I feel like Ascension would be a top five map if it weren't for the Space Monkeys.、Uh, I mean, it's such a likable map. It really is. You take out those monkeys, man, and, which I probably could have done in the, the settings before I started the game, but I didn't do it because I don't think you can do it. Ascension is actually one of the easier maps in Zombies history, obviously. I mean, the only map that is really easier than Ascension is Kino. Kino might be the easiest map of all time. But even then, like, Shino Numa, the original OG World at War Shino Numa, might be the easiest map of all time. Right? Getting into some guitar, started learning guitar, started playing guitar, because my dad is a, is a musician. He's a guitarist. My brother's a guitarist. And, like, what am I doing? A video gamer? No, that's, a, that's not it. Like, I'm going to be a video gamer and a guitarist. How about that? 
No, but in all seriousness, I went out Monday, like the day after I got back to Japan, and my girlfriend took me out guitar shopping. Shout out to her. And, um... You know, I was looking around some, like, secondhand shops and stuff, and I came across this beautiful Schecter Diamond Series in 427. And how are you going to pass that up, right? Like, how are you going to pass that up? I'll even put a picture of it. So, I got a, that guitar and uh, just starting to play some metal, man. I'm a metalhead. My whole family's a metalhead. So, we listen to Meggy, we listen to Trivium, some Metallica here and there, uh, Tornado of Souls, what a song. I'm an Avenged Sevenfold guy myself. I think Sinister Gates is the best, like, active guitarist in metal music. Someone will argue that, but we'll see. My brother is a huge Megadeth guy. He's all about Chris Broderick, Kiko, and, uh, oh, what's, what's his name? Marty Friedman, Dave Mustaine. Can't go wrong with any of them, to be honest. We're getting free perks now, and it's a double tap. Which is really nice with this honey badger. This thing shoots like a mug. Well, we got 10,000 points randomly, so I guess we could start getting perks. That wouldn't be a bad idea. For some reason, I'm still hoping and praying that the weapons mod took the monkeys off, but I know it didn't, so I'm not even worried about it. And I think, I really do think, that next round will be a monkey round, so I'm going to just sit down here by Jug. If perhaps round 8 is not a monkey round, then we may not have monkey rounds. But we're going to see. 3, 2, 1, not a monkey round. Not a monkey round. Alright, that's interesting. We get another free perk. There is no perk limit with this mod, I don't think. At least we hope it's not. And if there is, we hope it's sped. I, it's not, what, what, what perk did I get? Okay, so I figured it out. We got Vigor's Rush. It's just, there's no perk icon and we don't know why. And I don't know why I can't get that. Why can't I get the double points? Game, I'm red, I'm down. What is going on? I got a free pack a punch on my already pack a punch gun. We don't like that. And I got, okay. Faya. Okay, that Japanese down there says Faya. I was wondering, I thought it said Waya, which like dead wire, but I guess not. If you don't know this, Fu and Wa kind of look this like similar in Katakana, but maybe you don't know that. Maybe you do, maybe I don't care. See, now we get a monkey round. It's round nine. What kind of monkey round is that? That's such a late monkey round. They're not gonna come from the bottom, so here he comes. Boom! Got a little... These monkeys are kind of small, man. Yeah. Yeah, look at them. Wait, does that monkey have tits? No shot. You can't sit here and tell me that these monkeys actually have, like, honkers on them. I... I mean... I must be seeing something, but these are female monkeys with, uh... I mean, compared to the size of their body, it's really not that bad. Very unfortunate. We're going to go ahead and get rid of the Honey Badger and get the TAC-12. Uh, it's not a decision I wanted to make, but it's a decision we had to make because I just want to use more weapons. And this gun seems really good. Alright, since we were on the topic of metal, go ahead and leave a comment. Who's your favorite metal band? Who's your favorite metal artist? Either one works. I'm interested. I'm curious to know. You know, this shotgun's not going to do much for points so we're gonna get rid of it we're gonna buy another wall weapon because i don't really fancy the box traveling all over the universe arx 160 that'll work is this the burst version no it's the good version i don't exactly need to but i'm gonna work on opening pack a punch just because it's something to do on this map other than surviving which i did say didn't i that i just like simple maps where you just survive. I don't know what I'm complaining about. But I mean, come on. The Easter eggs in like BO4, like the 9 Easter egg. That's that's a little too much. In my humble opinion. One thing I absolutely do not miss about BO3. Is the uh, respawning. Oh, look at those guys getting slapped. Yeah, I miss, you know, in World of War being able to like make a crawler and and not die or respawn man it's so nice okay get this second lunar lander going 
pretty cool invention, if I do say so myself. It's crazy to me that I haven't bought Quick Revive yet. What am I doing? I am the king of going down. If there is one thing I'm good at in zombies, it is taking downs, but... Oh my god, I just... wow. That looked like the bug I flicked off the towel outside today. There was a towel on my bug when I was doing, or a bug on my towel when I was doing laundry and I flicked it off and that thing just like, it looked like an Aaron Judge home run. Oh my God, we got monkeys, son. All right, let's go protect some perks. Namely, Speed Cola, one monkey down. I have a lot of perks actually, so uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to be able to save them all. Not when I'm trying to do this solo. No monkeys by speed killer, that's not right. Wait, what? Why is he... For some reason that monkey was just a juggernaut. Speaking of juggernaut, you know, I kind of miss Modern Warfare 3. He took my widow's wine. Modern Warfare 3 is another game that I probably should have bought while I was in America, but... I mean, why would you buy Modern Warfare 3 at this juncture of all junctures? I mean, the game came out in 2011 or something like that. I mean, not many people play anymore, but it was a banger, man. It was my favorite COD. Second favorite COD. Call of Duty Ghost, however, was not one of my favorite Call of Duties back in the day. Because... It was nobody's favorite. Like, Call of Duty Ghost was the worst Call of Duty of all time when it came out. And then when you look back at it, like, who who wouldn't want Call of Duty Ghost back at this juncture? Because, like, come on. I mean, obviously everybody hated it back then, but... I don't hate it now. I want that back. We got two nukes. Sweet. Um, we haven't done much for switching guns. It's already, like, round 15. Oh my goodness. It's crazy that this ARX is just like treating these zombies like it's round five, man. Like, this is, uh, poor, uh, get, get the, I mean, come on, man. With the teleporting stuff, like, I guess that has to go. Guess we'll just use our upgraded weapon for no reason at all. There you go. I mean, what round is it? There's no Bible. Someone make a mod for, uh,. A very simple mod, you know, like a viable ending on every base map and DLC map. Like Chronicles map, base map, what a, you, you get what I'm saying. A mod that creates a viable ending door for every normal map would make... I mean, that would be fun. This gun isn't... Oh yeah, and poor for, uh, whatever. I mean, what am I getting at this juncture? And I'm in a bad spot. Okay, let's hit the box again. Hopefully we get like a... Just something other than a pistol. Oh, God. Hey, one shots. I have a feeling I want to upgrade that shotgun, though. So I think that's what we will do. And we'll get... I, I was going to buy that vector, but apparently it didn't want me to. Let's try that again. There we go. Because... How are you going to do COD Ghost without the vector showing up? The beast-ass gun. Here we go. Launch the rocket. Never gets old. Um, We're going to go see. Mule Kick might be a perk to get to. I always usually get Mule Kick when I do these weapons mods. All right. SpaceX is on its way. Thank you, Elon, for building such a cool rocket. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Okay, let's upgrade the shotgun because we all know shotguns are king in custom weapons mods. There you go. No bullet penetration whatsoever. And since we have points, let's upgrade the vector. Tyrone's Gym Shorts is the name of this gun. Now, I could go without that, but hey, might be good. Generally speaking, I'm here for any submachine gun that houses a hundred rounds of ammunition in the magazine uh regardless of the name you know so i know that the most famous training spot on i'm stuck look at that i almost died because of that that's incredible anyways as i just deleted half the zombies in zombies history uh as i was saying i know the general training spot on 
Ascension is the, uh, oh god, it's monkeys, is the uh, platform, but a lot of people prefer training down here for whatever reason. I think maybe because it's more difficult. I don't know. Right, this is why we bought a shotgun. Oh, where are you going? Kaboom, kaboom. We got another one. We got another one running around here somewhere. I hear him. Oh, look at that. Get off my quick revive, son. Oh, look at that. Where are you going? Get out of here. We got out of that relatively unscathed. We didn't get our free perk, but that's all right. No free perk, but we do get a 950 point box hit. And when you're as rich as me, it's essentially free. Oh. Oh, come on. Show me the money. We just got a pack-a-punch sniper. That's going to be fun, but useless. Not useless. Nice sniper we got here, though. We, we do like to see that. The USR was pretty good in getting COD Ghost. I think the sniper of choice was the L115, though. If I remember correctly, I might not be remembering correctly. I know I use this one in Ghost, though. Call me weird, but I used to be obsessed with using, like, hunting rifles in video games. Like, you know, those, like, simple bolt-action rifles, like the M700 or the M24 or the USR, like... I, I don't know why, it's kind of weird. Maybe it's because back in the day I only had a hunting rifle, so, like, using a hunting rifle in a video game made it feel like I was using a gun that I have in real life because I was a kid. Whatever. I wouldn't mind if this scoped in just a little bit faster. It's kind of slow with the ADS. Slower than I'd prefer. That was a very fast round. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was an insanely quick round. Huh. Good news is, is we have an MTAR X that we're gonna buy. Is this a burst? I don't think so. It is not. And I have snail's pace. I've noticed I'm dead. Well, obviously we made a lot of that situation, but only by the skin of my tiny shaft. And uh, this gun's not as... Never mind, it's good as hell. Good as fuck. As if I needed them, this is gonna rack me up some good points. But not what I really need right now, is it? Hey look, we don't even have to go pack-a-punch it. We get a free pack-a-punch right there. Tequila Sunrise. I really wonder how much, like, why do we have a monkey round already? Why do we have a monkey round already? Where are the monkeys at? There they are. Come out of your spaceships. Anyways, I'm really wondering how much, uh, alcohol alone contributes to the US GDP. I mean, that's, that's interesting. Maybe that's something we have to study. Look at him trying to take my quick res. What's up with these monkeys, man? Stupid little monkeys. Stupid, but got some honkers on them for no reason. The shotgun is still kicking their, their teeth in. Which is good. Um, double points. That, we need that. Hold on. Absolutely need the double points with 41,520 in our pocket right now. I have to say, but for this viable ending that this game doesn't have. Hey, a nuke. Oh, that was an instantaneous kill. Never mind. We want to go hit the box a little bit more, right? Although my sixth sense is telling me that we will be getting a teddy bear next box hit. Within the next two box hits, at least. I I'm not. I'm a little off right now because I haven't played this game in a while. Let's see. Is my sixth sense correct? I... You know what? Maybe it'll never go away. A sixth sense is a sixth sense, and I'll always know when I'm getting a teddy bear. Not exactly upset that that went away, but we are wanting to know where it went. Because I'm only going to go about two more rounds. Oh, what a location. A thunder gun. Sweet. Don't want it. And what's the next one? And a TAC-12 that I already had. So we don't want that. We do want a PP-19 Bison, and we do want an SC-2010. Yeah, check the bullets, make sure they're there. Not gonna be worried about going down and upgrading, because, I mean, let's be honest, I'll probably get an upgrade drop anyways, and it's not worth it. 
Not worth the points and it's not worth the trouble I make it. The PP-19 buys and shoots pretty fast, if I do say so myself. The recoil, almost uncontrollable, but it's actually very controllable. I don't know what I was talking about. Free perk. And there's the free Pack-a-Punch we've been waiting for. Viagra Buffalo, which is a pretty unique name in and of itself. Do you think this will be good? Does it... It explodes on impact, but there is there any, uh... What's this gonna do to me in terms of damage? I guess I have PhD somehow. And another TAC-12. What's going on with the TAC-12 business today? Alright, it's time to see what this Granada launcher is like. Could be better. Could be way better. But after two full drums or whatever they're called, I got all that. Wow, that was a teleporting zombie. Let's mow him down with the Viagra Buffalo anyways. There you go. Look at that. No problem. Well, grenade launchers are just fun to use. I mean, you don't really use them for their effectiveness, in my opinion. I use grenade launchers because they blow shit up. Maybe I do have to unload an entire drum on one zombie at this juncture, but that's cool. Watch this. in the game right here. Great. That was fun. I like Cogos weapons, and I like Ascension, so that's a really good combination. I hope you enjoyed. See ya.